This is Charles and I am back with another review, this time for Takara Tomi's Transformer Masterpiece MP29 Destron Military Operations Commander Destron Laser Wave. Alright, so this is a shockwave. So this is the back of the box, so we can see the size comparison of shockwave with soundwave and sunscreen. So it's all here, I'm not going to do a live, demo, uh, live comparison then. And if you were to buy the Asia uh, version of shockwave, you'll get a coin. Very nice uh, chest design of sh uh, shockwave over here, and you open it up. See the coin of a uh, shockwave. It's really cool. So I got this from uh, Robo Robo today. It's a toy retailer in Singapore, and uh, here I am, happy to bring you the review of shockwave. Uh, before that, you see this very nice uh, bio card for shockwave. So he has um, stamina nine, intelligence ten, speed seven, endurance seven, rank nine, courage nine, firepower nine, skill nine. Very accurate uh, representation of a uh, shockwave, if I must say. Okay, so without further ado, here is Shockwave. Oh yes, I forgot. It comes with this set of stickers as well, so you can actually stick uh, the stickers on uh, where it didn't fit for the Decepticon logo. I'm not going to do it right now. So here is uh, Shockwave. So first off, let's look at the figure itself. Uh, Color-wise, it's very he is very very anime accurate. So uh, kudos to Takara Tomi for that. I know some uh, toy collectors, um, they're not really happy about the color, they felt the color is a bit too light, but if you were to watch the G1 um, cartoon, it is really cartoon accurate. And uh, if you really want a, a, toy, a G1 toy color for Shockwave, which is a deep dark purple, I, I'm pretty sure that Takara told me would do a repaint, you know, they probably call him like, like uh, MP29. G or something like that, you know, just to say it's a G1, uh, it's a toy accurate color for, for Shockwave, so you can get your maybe metallic uh, dark purple type of color. But I'm happy with uh, Shockwave the way he is right now. So here's uh, something about Shockwave uh, before I, I go into the um, articulation and such. So in terms of uh, die cast, okay, for, for a long time we haven't got die cast in the Masterpiece toy. So the uh, back piece over here, which I'll show later, is die cast. Uh, the feet, okay, this grey part is die cast. The bottom part, this purple part, is die cast. Uh, apart from that, I don't see any obvious die cast. Uh, like the clear uh, plastic here for the uh, chest. Too bad it doesn't light up. Uh, the very nice uh, yellow eyes, uh, yellow golden eye for shockwave. It's a very cool feature. Um, in terms, uh, and then he comes with this spring, okay, this uh, spring coy. Very cool. Uh, you gotta attach it uh, yourself. Uh, it comes separate. Uh, one thing about the toy itself is that the the back here is supposed to tap. Okay, this uh, the gun is this back of the gun is supposed to tap here, but it doesn't tap really tightly. It keeps popping out, so it's quite irritating. So it's like, see, once you shake it hard, it pops down. So the way for you to actually tap it in tightly is that it comes with this uh, this stand. This is actually a stand the stand for shockwave, uh, but it can also be part of the backpack. So what you do is that you flip this uh, portion up, okay just uh, flip this down first, so you flip this up, so this this whole piece of uh, purple piece over here is die cast, really solid, really cool, so once you got this uh, over here, flip it up here, so you can slot this in, so slot this in over here all the way down, so make sure that this plastic is over here, okay, slot it in over here, so once you slot it in just press and you can hear a tap sound, you can hear a tap sound to uh, signify it's, it's uh, in nicely so I'm gonna push it in and you can hear a tap sound okay let me just align this yep so once it taps in nicely you collapse this part, tap it in as well and then you can tap it in over here and you see very very tight and the good thing about this backpack is that uh, it doesn't make shockwave back heavy, so you can still stand very well. See, you can still stand very well. Doesn't have uh, any feeling that he was going to tilt backwards, so it's really cool. In terms of articulation wise, you can rotate his head 360. Okay, you can see over here this yellow part. You can shine a light through. You can actually see uh, his eyes glow. Let me just try to do it right now. Let me just grab my iPhone. 
I'm just going to on the uh, torch light for my iPhone and see if I can shine the light through his eyes. Oh yes, I can. It's really cool. So I shine it through, you can see the... Uh, it's a little bit bright for my iPhone, I'm so sorry about that. But you can see when I shine it through, the eyes really glow. See? So it's really cool. Cool that we have this uh, feature, this uh, clear plastic over here. The eyes really shine. Cool, cool, cool. So I love it. Nice. Okay, let me just off my torch light first. So shockwave, uh, so shoulders wise you can actually raise all the way up due to the weight of his articulation. He has clicky joints, uh, ratchet joints for the elbows as well. Okay, Front back more than 90 degrees, rotate 360, uh, wrist can rotate 360 as well. And uh, if you want the extra waist rotation, you can pull up the waist. Okay, okay let me just pull out. Okay, and you can rotate it. Okay, this gives you more, more uh, posability. And over here, you can lift the skirts on the side. You can raise his leg more than 90 degrees forward, uh, up uh, sideways. And if you leave the skirt over here, clicky clicky joints, he can lift his legs about 90 degrees. Same thing, you can bend his knees about, let's say, uh, 60 degrees. Okay, his uh, thighs can rotate 360 over here. And uh, ankle wise, uh, some joints, okay, some movement, and you can uh, also um, ankle them sideways. So, if you want him to have a very dynamic pose, such as for example this one, okay, pointing laser, okay, let me just point it nicer. Yeah, so this is shockwave, he can actually do quite a dynamic pose, I would say, quite a dynamic pose as such. Really cool. Right. Okay. Let me just get the uh, joints. Uh, let me just get him standing again. Okay. So he does have some uh, playability uh, in terms of the toy uh, as a, as a, as a figure. So for his hand, okay, you can you need uh, to have uh, two LR forty four batteries. So once you have two LR forty four batteries, you unscrew it uh, the tab over here. Unscrew it, put it in, and then you press the button over here. You can see some light. So this is the uh, non-transparent uh, plastic. We can see the light is quite strong. It sort of shines through. So you press it once, you'll probably shine about eight times. So you just um, take this out. You can actually replace it with uh, the transparent one, which is more cool. You can see. Yep. Just hold it to the back. Yeah. So you can see. Really cool. Really, really bright. It's so bright. Yeah, it's really, really bright. It can shine pretty far. Yeah, and um, you can also put the so he has like this transparent hand to go with the transparent uh, laser but unfortunately the transparent hand is only for the um, fist sorry the transparent fist is only for the right fist he doesn't have a transparent left fist so they may, it's really weird I mean like Takara told me gave, gives you like a uh, complete uh, fist you know it gives you a right uh, extra left fist, a full colored uh, left fist and then it gives you a transparent right fist to go with the transparent laser pointer but it doesn't give you a transparent left fist and similarly he gives you a full color right fist to salute and say oh hail Megatron okay and he also gives you the um, transparent uh, saluting uh, fist but it doesn't give you the same one for the for this uh, right hand, so I don't understand. Uh, they should have just given us two more. I guess give us one more transparent uh, saluting uh, left fist and one more transparent uh, clenching left fist. And uh, for those who who might have problems with trying to pull it out, okay, it, it does fit in really tight. So the way to pull it out is with this tab over here. Okay, I'll show a full color one. This is easier. Okay, so I just want to show a full color one. So you see, there's a tab over here. Okay, over here. So if you have problems pulling out this way, okay, for some parts, uh, you might have some problem pulling it out this way, okay. So if you do have this problem, just hold this tab and then just angle it sideways and you'll come out pretty easily. So um, 
Yes, let me just pull this uh, arm outwards first and then this is the uh, laser beam and then if you feel that you want to have two laser beams over here, you can have shockwave to hold to have two laser hands. Okay, one transparent and one solid color. Okay, I guess I'll pull this out here first. I'm gonna replace uh so I'll show you guys. So if if let's say he has a uh, transparent left first, this would be so how cool. This would be so cool, right? Imagine he has a transparent left this would be so cool. But unfortunately Takara told me he doesn't give us a transparent left first. But I'm, sh I'm you know what? I'm sure the third party will do it. Some third party or some you know uh, toy maker they'll probably do it. So imagine it's a saluting hand. So cool, right? The light shine through a saluting hand, saluting hand, but too bad. You know, it, it's only for the right, right first, not for the left first. What a shame. But oh well. So guys, I'm gonna put back the uh, laser pointer. And uh, I'm gonna put back the uh, solid fist for this one. And uh, Shockwave comes with a mini Shockwave, his own self transformed into a gun. This is actually more for like a masterpiece uh, Starscream and a masterpiece uh, Soundwave to hold him. But you no, know, he can actually hold himself, you know, if he wants to. Okay, let me just get this away. Okay, let's get this uh, piston off. Uh, one thing I, I don't uh, I feel is lacking in uh, for shockwave is that the neck okay the neck portion over here doesn't lock in place so I, I wonder whether over time this part will become loose and then shockwave will start be like having half his he hidden hidden um, in his uh, body in his chest so you know this is something I feel that you know if it, there's a locking mechanism here it would be so much better but it doesn't but uh, at this point in time the, the, joint, the joints are still tight so I think it's uh, not a problem at all okay so right now I'm going to transform shockwave to his uh, gun mode so first thing what I'm going to do I'm just going to remove this I'm going to untap this okay and then I'm going to push this part okay just get this uh, portion uh, release this portion okay I'm going to pull this all the way up and pull this out this later will be uh, forming a stand for shockwave okay and uh, right now I'm going to rotate the fist over here first. I'm going to so I'm going to bend his neck, okay, and push his head down, and that's done. Okay, you will want to uh, lift this portion of the uh, of his uh, stomach torso, and then you're gonna get the uh, trigger out. So you need to you might need to push this uh, upwards just to uh, dig the trigger out because it might go quite. Uh, it's quite embedded inside for, for my case, so I'm gonna have to push this chest portion a little bit more and I'm gonna try to dig the, the, tr the trigger out. Okay, got the trigger out. So once you get the trigger out, oh yeah, he does have a uh, one notch of a uh, few notches of waist rotation, uh, waist uh, articulation front and back. Missed it out just now. Okay, so next thing what I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna pull out the tabs on the sides over here. Okay. I'm gonna rotate the uh, legs. Okay, rotate the legs. I'm gonna untap this over here. Okay, I'm gonna do for one leg first. So once we untap this, you can see this uh, leg hanging around. So we're gonna do. You're going to uh, click it all the way down, and then you flip it upwards. Okay, once you flip this upwards, you will flip the. You will uncatch this. Okay, just move it sideways, and then you will move this upwards, rotate the ankles all the way in and push this part inwards. Alright, so this is a more or less aligned over here. Similarly, let's do for the other side, unpack this over here. So once you unpack it, okay, over here, you will flip the leg upwards, okay, push the knees down, just unpack this by the side, okay, so once you got it done, flip this upwards, rotate the ankles all the way in, push this in, and we have this part done. We just wanna collapse these two parts together. And at the same time, you gotta align this. Uh, okay, align this part with the, the waist. Got it in nicely. Put this tab in. And over here, rotate this here, push it in, rotate it as such. Okay, put it in, we'll collapse this. 
over here at the bottom, this part so will be packed over here. So you just move these two parts together upwards and you'll pack them in over here. Let me just uh, align it a little bit first. Okay, pack it in nicely. Okay, so here, okay, I'm gonna click all the way for the hands, just preparation. Unpack this, okay, rotate this so you're gonna angle it such this way, okay, and then this is a hole over here. We're packing over here. Okay, there's a line, pack it in very nicely, you can see over here. Okay, so you do similarly for the other hand. Okay, okay, let's pack the holes nicely, aligned it, and you just collapse these two parts together. Oops, sorry, I have to um, make sure I lift this part up first. So you need to open this, okay. Gonna rotate this up, and you're gonna fit this in over here. You're gonna fit this uh, portion of the fist into the uh, cavity over here okay align this all nicely okay everything done nicely here okay in place and over here flip it downwards tap it down flip the uh, the uh, what you call it aiming hole over here what you call it I can't remember anyway and here is a uh, shockwave in gun mode all right it's really cool. So you want shockwave to to you want to display in gun mode. So this is a stand for shockwave in gun mode. All you have to do is just to pull it down here, and it just supports shockwave in gun mode. Pretty cool. Pretty 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 cool. So shockwave in gun mode. Okay, he has um, two modes for his gun. So over here, this trigger over here. Okay, you just press it. You see, if you just hold it over here, okay, you can see the light is pretty pretty strong. Okay, pretty pretty strong. And if you were to uh, tap this downwards, okay, there's another tap here. Tap it downwards, and you press it once. It will, I think, it will blink for about ten times. Just count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Yeah, 10 times. So just you know, press the trigger once you'll, uh, you'll shine 10 times. So you want to stop it immediately, just move the trigger upwards, it stops. And this one is where you hold it. So a lot of people are wondering whether this has sound. Okay, it does have a little sound, but I think the sound comes from the light itself. So it's very, very soft, like a soft cricket sound. It's very, very soft. There's no way the camera can capture it. So it's really, really, really soft. And, um, I don't think it's meant to, to have any sound, so this is just light gimmick. No, but it's cool, it's, the light is really really strong. And so this is Shockwave. It's pretty cool, I, 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 I like him. You know, it, it, it fits in the adult hand very well, so it is to scale with adult hand, unlike uh, Masterpiece uh, Megatron MP5, which is too big for adult hand. But I'm very sure Takara Tomi has plans to make a uh, version 2 of Megatron soon. I'm very sure they're gonna do it, it's just a matter of time. So uh, right now the transform shockwave back in the robot mode. Flip this, flip this, tap it in place. Okay, you untap this. Just uh, untap the arms. Move them sideways. So here you will. This here, and then you flip this entire part downwards. Press it over here, and then at the bottom here, unpack these two parts. Just unpack them. Okay, push it down, unpack this, okay, flip it out, okay, and you wait, over here, split the legs open, okay, and I'm gonna flip this up outwards first, okay, so once you split the legs open, flip this downwards, click a click down, rotate, and make it fit forward, okay, and at the same time, you're gonna flip this outwards, Okay, you're gonna align this. Okay, flip this upwards first, and you flip the uh, angles out. You align this. Okay, align this first, and then shift it upwards to uh, pack it in place. Let me just do it. Okay, just align it over here first, nicely. Then pack it in place nicely. So over here, you will flip this. Okay, so that this pack will go into this hole over here. Okay. Just align it a bit. Okay. 
here we have one leg done. Okay, now for the other leg, similarly we're gonna flip this down, click a click. Okay, we're gonna flip this outwards, rotate the knees, uh, sorry the ankle. Okay, align this. So once you align this portion, you just flip it upwards and you lock in place over here very nicely. And then over here, rotate and align the tabs. Okay. Okay, lock it in very nicely. Okay, there we have the legs are done. So the next thing I'm gonna do is just to uh, push the uh, trigger in, pull this part down. Okay, we'll take the arms down. Align them, rotate the first. Okay, you can try to tap this uh, back, but you won't tap. And you lift up the head here. Okay, and there you have shockwave. Okay, let me just align the parts nicely first. Yep, and there you have shockwave back in the robot mode. So shockwave, I think it's a uh, pretty easy to transform okay it's pretty easy and pretty intuitive you don't really really need instructions for this apart from maybe uh, transforming the legs uh, you might get um, confused okay you might get confused at first but uh, once you, you've done it once or twice it's pretty simple and uh, one thing I need to say is that um, initially I thought okay I thought that the legs uh, internally would be very hollow Okay, but uh, it's not it's not as hollow as I think. Uh, so even though uh, this part is hollow and and this part is hollow, but when you collapse the whole thing in, okay, you just fit it in. Um, it doesn't feel really hollow. It feels pretty okay. Yeah, it feels pretty okay, pretty solid. Uh, so yeah, initially I thought it's gonna feel very hollow, but no, it doesn't feel very hollow. It's it's cool. So it's nice. Uh, nice rep uh, G one representation of shockwave uh, compared to the third party wise. I don't know, I, I never had uh, owned a third party and I have her comparing face to face but pictures wise I think uh, Masterpiece or Shockwave looks decently good and I like him for the um, colour for being a G1 cartoon accurate so here's Charles signing off with yet another toy review I hope you guys have enjoyed it do stay tuned to my channel for more reviews next time